Welcome back to Fallout Sonora, English translation. This is episode four, I think. We're playing, uh, or we're redoing the beginning of the game just so we can get some better footage. I had the radio was too loud last time. Um, or the music was too loud last time. But anyway, we're back here in the world, back at it again. And if you guys are enjoying this at home, leave a like, subscribe, or whatever. We don't care. We don't care because we're just doing this for fun anyway. And uh, we're not cops, so don't sue us. And uh, have a good time. Grab a drink, sit back, relax, and let's get back into some Fallout Sonora. Last time we were here, we just bought a bunch of shit from this guy. Uh, and now we're going to talk to the big boss. In front of you is a very well-fed man in worn business suit, looking out of place against the background of the surrounding landfill. When he sees you, he gets distracted from some device and removes his headphones connected to it. Hip, are you in charge here? Puts down the headphones and presses some buttons on the device, then points to the device. It's an old record player. These were produced by the Watts Electronic Company before the Great War. The model is not the most expensive, but very reliable, since it has survived to this day. That's why I love old things. Our ancestors made a lot of mistakes, but they knew how to make players. At that time, many factories of various specializations were operating throughout Arizona. Now none of them work. Uh... Yeah, the, yeah, the world has definitely lost a lot. Hmm. I thought you'd have a different opinion. In any case, we have very few opportunities to fix it. So what's on your mind, friend? I'm here because someone enslaved the peasants of the villa and took them in this direction. No one likes it when they use their usual way of life as violated. I don't like it when the ruins are out of minerals, as a result of which we need to look for new places to mine. But I have dozens of scavengers and scoundrels uh, and several contracts under my command. Villa was lucky, but it's hard for people of your type to understand. While you are busy with internal worries, me, the scavengers, provide the equipment for the whole southern Arizona. I don't think anyone else cares about the fate of the villa except the local peasants. Uh, it's like you're rejoicing at our tragedy. Am I happy? No. Uh, am I happy? No. But when we need we needed help in times of famine, you meanwhile profited from it and demanded double rates from us. Well, it is nice to feel like the uh, like a litter this time. Uh, so you don't deny your involvement? Me? Of course not. It was a project of another, more influential organization. We just happened to be one on, on the way, and if I were you, I would forget this story and go back to the empty house to start all over again. Do you think it's that simple? There are no other ways for you. However, you can stay here and work as a garbage collector if you like. What do you say? I. Mr. Kogan! Mr. Kogan! What's the matter? No one dares to break into my office. I just broke into your office, man. Mr. Kogan! There's a mess in the dormitory. A serious mess began. What can happen to, uh, in, in this hole? Probably another drunken brawl. No, it doesn't look like it. I don't understand the reason for the fight. So go figure it out, idiot. These scavengers can be unbearable when they get drunk. Listen, if you're going to stay in town... Oh my god, my hat's all over the place. Ah, sorry, hold on, Mr. Bogan. Mr. Kogan. Oh my god, dude, I'd totally be shot in the head by now. Hold on, Mr. Bogan. I have to fix my hat. These scavengers can be unbearable when they get drunk. Listen, if you're going to stay in town, you're going to need my protection. And now a great opportunity has turned up to show itself. Are you suggesting I calm down the workers? Go into the dorm and find out what happened there. I don't need any extra problems in this city. I'll see what I can do. Great. Oh yes, I didn't introduce myself. Carl Kogan. Now get busy. Uh, you get 150 experience for a conversation. Very nice. We have our own reels here, peasant. We have our own root man. My lady's calling me a peasant over here. That's not very nice. Uh, who are you? What are you staring at? What are you staring at? Hey, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, you. I don't remember seeing you in our city. Where are you from? I'm just passing through here. And what? Just like that. Strangers have become a rarity in our city. Yes, my name is Todd. Todd Howard. Uh, 
nice to meet you, Don Hour. Hi! What is it this time? What are you doing here, Todd? Well, I'm more of a specialist in collecting and cleaning iron. I've been honing my skills for years. Must be a profitable business. Actually, not really. The mine is closing. There's not enough work here. And then there are animals next to my trailer. Animals? Damn coyotes. Wily coyote. I don't know where they smelled from, but there's a whole pack of them. I'm afraid to get too close. Uh, and after all my tools are in my house, will you help me get rid of the coyotes? I'll pay five caps for each one of them if I just get to my place. Uh, I'll get rid of them, but first answer the questions. Hi, what is it this time? Uh, where is your trailer located? Go to the Watts Electronic Plant and then turn left along the road. Uh, I see another question. Uh, tell me about the garage. This is a scavenger camp. Nearby are the ruins of an old city, from where we pull out useful things, repair them, and sell them to the south. Sounds good. But the mine is completely depleted. It seems that soon you will have to collect things and look for new ruins. But if the city suddenly does not have any additional source of income... And what do you get in exchange for work? Corn cubs? Caps, redneck. Caps! Caps, you imbecile. I am Todd Howard. We used them the way we used money in ancient times. It wouldn't hurt for you to get a wallet, too. Remember, now nothing goes without caps from big cities. Uh, thanks for the advice. I have to go now. Okay, uh... Ooh, man, oobly boobly, this door is locked and closed. Uh, what happens if I lock pick it? You open the lock. Cool. What's in here? Oh, bunch of shit. Okay. Uh, damn, I wish we had like a cool jacket or something, but maybe we'll get some armor in the next bit. Let's save real quick. Uh, just because I feel like it's going well. Uh, is this the way to the mine? Okay. Hey, what's going on? Ooh, got some stuff. Got a little rad scorpion tail. Very nice, very nice. Hello. For the first time in a big city? I don't understand why people still go to this forgotten city. Um, uh, what's in here? Nothing. A little hole in the ground with uh, some larvae next to it. Mm. I'll take those for selling. Oh, I hear a snake. You see Frank. Hey, hey, hey. This is my house. What do you want here? I want to meet new neighbors. Listen, who are you kidding? Uh, wait, uh, listen, who are you kidding? No one has been going to our city for our own for a long time. There's no work here, but if you really want to live next door, then do me a favor, don't bother me. Uh, why so distrust of neighbors? You can't trust anyone in this city, even your own neighbors. We're only looking at your goods. It's worth going out the door, and then here someone climbs in to pick your own lock. Was something stolen from you? Yes, everyone here has something that periodically disappears. It started as soon as things in the mine began to decline, and a lot of workers here were left without earnings. What exactly was stolen from you? A welding machine. Uh, it's a very valuable item. There's only a few of us left in working condition in the whole city. He's been giving me a great income so far, so what should I do now? I see, I can look for the missing. Really? Or maybe another cunning plan to steal it first and then resell it. Anyway, why am I? You're new here. And the loss happened much earlier. Okay, if you find my things, I'll try to buy them back. Okay, I'll do it. What a guy. Now I'm gonna go steal your stuff. Hey, what are you doing in there? You're right, you're right. Uh, what if I, like... Oh, man, I feel like I need to heal up. Hold on. Can I heal up here? Oh, man. Uh, how we doing today, fellas? Doing good, doing good. Everybody doing good? All good in the hood? Oh, man. I need to sit up. It's been a cowboy day, I'll tell you, darn tootin'. 
Uh, I spent like three hours cleaning my car. Do you really think you could escape? All right, I'm going in. The stuffy barrack is saturated with the smell of rust and rubble. Hold them tight, buddy. Uh, what the hell does this mean? A tense scene opens up before you. A crowd of scavengers has surrounded a couple of other scavengers and tends to beat them up. But your appearance violates these plans. Who else are you? Uh, Mr. Kogan sent me. What the hell is going on here? Uh, what's happened is that we're going to polish the faces of Lucas's guys with sandpaper. These runts allow themselves too much, stealing our equipment and fishing in our area. Aren't you in the same company? We're all in Mr. Kogan's cartel, but each clan has its own section of the mine. So far, we've been honest until Lucas's people crossed the line. Uh, so what exactly did they do? I'm telling you, Lucas's people stole the decoder that Mr. Kogan entrusted to us, and then they fled the city. We managed to detain the same two, and now they will be severely punished. Uh, uh I know enough. You can continue with what you were doing. Then go to tell the boss and tell him everything. We won't let it go easily. Stop, bitch. Where to? Uh, oh. My dog showed up and is now licking my feet. going on what's going on I can't even focus cuz my nah what are you doing little snuggle bear Actually, you know what? Let me finish this brawl. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, what? Now everybody is attacking me. I think I fucked up. I think I shot the wrong guy. Uh... Alright, we're gonna go here and I'm gonna get a snack. clip that back. I guess that's why I'm Gustavo Pendejo. Back in a major way. Alright. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Uh, what happened? So, first, I think we went in here. We found some shit. Yep. Alright, we got that. We talked to these pendejos. They didn't know anything. 
We didn't go in there, actually. We did go in here. Oh, we got some larva from here. Hello, pin. I think we could go in this building. We talked to this dude. Uh, Alright, we already talked to him. And then I don't think we talked to everybody else though. I feel like there's more people. These guys have anything to say? I see a settler. Uh, we have our own rules here, peasant. Steal the shit. Nice. More bullets. I wish we had one of those guns, though. Uh, let's check in here. What do you need, stranger? Why such, why such rudeness? Why such rudeness? Spits as if casually. We're not used to sissies here. I'm sorry. Uh... Uh, nothing. So what do you need, youngster? Uh, why is there a crossed out star painted on your door? Rangers, these filthy lovers of other people's goods want to take away from me the most valuable thing, my son. I'm trying to shield him from this stupidity. Why do they need your son? They recruit young animals and then prepare warriors and scouts from them. I didn't work at this mine in order for my son to become a murderer in the name of someone else's idea. Let him plow through home and not somebody else's. I see. So what do you need? Uh, what's the situation with the rangers? A crowd of armed guys are trying to get their hands on the whole neighborhood. They promise security in order to exchange uh, for resources and recruits. Uh, sounds quite acceptable. What's the cash? <laughs> oh, you seeing this? Uh, all right. Uh, a crowd of armed guys who are trying to get their hands on a whole neighborhood, and they promise security in order in exchange for resources and recruits. Uh, sounds, what's and what's the catch? Yes, only life has taught you you cannot believe such. They are just row for themselves and share only the surplus, the same uh, the same as raiders. Only they speak in beautiful words. I see. Uh, what do you need? Nothing. Uh, all right, we're getting 50 experience. Should I talk to his son? Uh, and who else are you? Hey, you're not from around here. God, he sounds terrifying. Uh, uh, yeah. Then where are you from? Are you also engaged in enslaving peasants? Actually, yes. <laughs> on the contrary, I released them. What do you know about the attack on the villa? Nothing. Better leave before the others give you a warm welcome. Uh, why would they do that? This place is dying. Soon there will be no resources left in the ruins. Then the cartel will close, and the residents will be left with only a bandit share. How I wish I could get out of this damned place. Where, for example? To the rangers, or just to the south, where there is at least some kind of civilization. You have ambitious plans. Not yours, Uh, So that kid actually wants to go to the rangers. That's interesting. Uh, what's going on in here? We got a whole little thing going down. It sounds like the fight is kicking off, too. Oh, shit. We got a doctor's bag. What's in here? Oh, it's locked. Locks too complicated. Ah! Damn. All right, let's check in here then. Wait, yeah, we, we already checked in there. We already talked to them. Uh, let's save then. Uh, no, wait. 
Let's heal, then save. And while we heal... Um, alright. We rest until healed. Let's save this time so we don't have to do that, all that shit again. Oof. What are you doing? Uh, what do you want? If it's an iguana, I won't give it to you. I have nothing to eat myself. Oh, man. God damn, I could eat something myself. I could... Oh, man, what do I want? Food? Ha! No. I want Skittles. Sour ones too. Mm. Oh, they're crunchy. Aren't the iguanas like people meat? Come on, give me an iguana now. Come on, I'm not going to rip it out of your mouth. I have no evil intentions. Here, take a cap as a sign of my honesty. Uh. Come on, give me the one now. Hands off. This is my prey. If you need a lizard, go and catch it in the desert. Um, uh, don't be so angry, old man. It's just a joke. Really? Who are you? My name is Carmelo. I just live here. Uh, what are you doing here? I catch lizards and sell them to the rest of the residents. It's not so easy to catch them. Uh... Did you always work as a garbage man? Yes, I had a great nose for useful things. After all, even a handful of garbage men can be used. <sighs> but mine has become impoverished. Now I'm looking for lizards instead of old utensils. Um, are you always so distrustful? Live here as long as I have lived and you will become distrustful. Uh, indeed, you don't often meet an elder in this place. Uh, do you also work for the mine? Uh, they said they used to live to up to a hundred, but now rare lucky people manage to reach my age. It's probably saved me that I don't get into all sorts of scraps. Uh, did you also work in the mine? Yes, I had a great nose for useful things. Um, I see. Um, I gotta go, man. Uh, wanna ask you something else? Uh, tell me, uh, did you see a slave convoy pass through here? Yes. There was such, uh, but then went to the wastelands so as not to cross paths with such dangerous people. You know where the convoy went? Somewhere to the east. I haven't been to those parts. Thank you. Uh, but I still have questions. Uh, tell me about the mine. That's what's there to tell. No one's used to live in these parts, and when the cartel opened, crowds of scavengers came here. Uh, what was the cartel doing? Buys uh, fines from scavengers, then repairs and takes them to auction in other cities. Where are the scavengers? Scavengers, looters, call them what you want. The mines useful things in the ruins and carry them to the garbage or for recycling. Does this a job attract people? Of course. Many come here to earn a mountain of caps and go to more trustworthy settlements. But more often, they stop turns out to be the last for them. This guy's literally a lot lizard. Uh, I think I'm done talking to him. Um... He's not helpful at all. He just, yeah, I guess he told me that the slaves are going east. All right. Let's go in for real this time. And this time, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A tent scene opens up before you. A crowd of scavengers has surrounded a couple other scavengers and tends to beat them up. But your appearance violates his plans. Uh, who else are you? Uh, Mr. Kogan sent me. What the hell is going on here? What happens is these guys are going to polish the faces of Lucas guys with sandpaper. These runts allow themselves too much, stealing our equipment and fishing in our areas. Uh, aren't you in the same company? We're all in Mr. Kogan's cartel, but each clan has its own section of the mine. So far we've been honest until Lucas's people crossed the line. So what exactly did they do? I'm telling you. Lucas's people stole the decoder that Mr. Colgan entrusted to us, and then they fled the city. We managed to detain the same two, and now they will be severely punished. 
Uh, I know enough. Continue with what you're doing here. Then go to the boss and tell him everything. We won't let it go that easily. Stop, bitch. Well, too. Taking advantage of the moment, the det detainees try to escape. Urgh. I guess it's those guys. Okay. Uh, well, I... I guess I'll go in and kick one of them. Alright. I feel like I don't really want to waste that much ammo. I'll just be in the fight and get XP. Uh, okay. Kick to the head. Regular kick. Three, six hit points. Oh, he's getting cut up. Oh, man. Johnny's in the back with a sledgehammer. Another dude's coming down. I'll give him the old roundhouse kick to the uh, eyes. Fuck, I missed. Oh, my God. That guy didn't miss. That guy didn't miss at all. Uh, you received 10 experience. Nice. Do you guys have anything on him? Hey, Penny. <laughs> you looking at me upside down. Oh, yeah. Mwah. It's a cute dog. You see this? Little mama. So cute. Oh, the best baby. The best baby always on stream. Oh, man. Oh, he did the snuggles. She's doing a little upside down head look. Do you want me to, do you want to go for a walk? Is that why you're so antsy pantsy? Oh, man. Here, let me move my mouse a little bit. Your like, head is literally on my mouse. I feel like you want me to stop and snuggle you. Uh, spoiler alert, he does. Uh... <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go over here. Got some clod hopping metal sandals. Cool. Are those even useful for me? What we got back here? Some more brass knuckles we can sell. Um, wait, yeah, what happened to my brass knuckles? There we go. I was gonna say, we didn't really need to be kicking those guys either. We could probably have done more. Uh, oh, her head's resting on my wrist. So there's, that's the mine. With all the radioactive shit and wolves. Alright, I don't want to go there. But I feel like we need to save again. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. Uh, okay. What's up here? Dogs. Oh, is this that dude's house? This might be that dude's shack. Alright. Oh. Uh. Let's try to take them, like, one at a time. Fuck me, I missed. Oh my god, I missed twice. Didn't miss that time. Mm. Oh, he's biting me up, though. Not anymore, he's not. This one's coming in. Fuck. Alright, I didn't mean to do that, but... Uh, shoot him in the head. Nice. Shot him in the head, 22 points with impact. Dog died, gained 100 XP. Alright, save. Trust me, I'm not, I'm not save scumming. This game is just really fucking hard. <laughs> and I don't have to keep... Ah, got penny hair in my mouth. I don't have to keep... Uh, redoing these battles. Uh, you got hit for 7 HP. Alright, cool. Uh, in turn. Uh, in turn. I hit him twice that time. 
I feel like he's nearing the end. I'm gonna punch him in the head. Oh, yes, dog tunically in the head. The blow falls right on the muzzle. Alright. Uh, we are fucking up these dogs so far. Do they have, uh, or these coyotes? Uh. Oh, poor doggos. Meanwhile, I snuggle my other dog. I'm like the evil villain. She's like the evil villain dog. Is that what it is? Alright, no evil villain dog could be this cute, though. Oh my god. No skittles for the boo boos. Alright. Let's fuck up this dog. Come get it. Damn, dude. Two shots to the dome and dead. How much more ammo do I have? I only have one bullet left. Really? I thought I had more than that. Um... Could always reload this. Alright, I think I can take these last two dogs. And he's gonna give me cash for each one. Let's get it. Come get it, buddy. while I'm playing. Uh, Alright. Let's get right there and literally disintegrate the dog. Alright. Uh, same thing. Get right up next to it. Put the 22 caliber in its ear. Vaporize the dog. Oh no. That didn't work that time. Alright, we don't have enough ammo to just keep clocking him, so we're gonna have to punch him a little. Missed him twice. Not like this. Alright. Uh, dog quickly hit in the head, dog dies. Get it, big boy. Uh, yeah, immediately eviscerated. <laughs> uh, ferocious descendant of wild coyotes. All right, well, we killed all of those dudes. I feel like that is very satisfying. <laughs> nice. Maybe she needs to go out. Uh, do you want me to take her out? Uh, we can go on a walk. Can you get food or something? Hmm. So we secured the trailer. I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Let's see what's inside. More metal sandals. Hmm. Basement trap door. Manhole. Uh oh. Uh oh, what's this? A box of bottles. 24 bottle caps. That's not too bad. Um. Oh, shoot. Pete asked me to destroy it. It's the bottle cap making machine. Could I, like, repair it? Oh, I blew it up. Oops. That wasn't what I meant to do. Uh, 
And here's the welding machine that the other guy got stolen from him. So that little scamp dude was making fake bottle caps and was stealing shit. He was both a thief and a con man. Wow. What a guy. Um, well, I guess we're going to bring that back over. Jeez Louise. That was... That was crazy. Uh, so I feel like we should go to him first. And tell him we killed everything. Before we tell the other guy that we blew up the welding machine. Uh, we could talk to this guy and give him back his welding thing, though. Oh, there he is. Todd. Todd Howard. He was <laughs> Todd Howard, the little bastard... <laughs> was living out in the desert, surrounded by coyotes, stealing people's shit, and also counterfeiting coins. What a guy. The coyotes are over. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Looks like it's time to pay, right? Otherwise, he won't leave me alone. Unusually clean caps. Where are they from? They're just well preserved. Don't you care? Take it in silence and spend it on something. Then there are no questions. You get seven karma points, and you receive 200 experience. Uh, talk to him again. Thanks for that with the coyotes. I'm gonna go ahead and tell this motherfucker. Uh, about the fake caps. Uh, yes, in the leads. Uh, in Todd's trailer, there was a machine. Uh, for the production of cops. Now the machine is destroyed. Good job, amigo. Their bottle caps is a promise. The main thing is not to spread about the situation. I don't want anyone to be lynched because of me. My Pete. You see 300 experience and 10 karma points. Alright, I'm gonna go give that guy his welding machine. Wait a minute. How much is this welding machine worth? I got 117 coins. And I do need lots of stuff. Uh, actually, let's talk to this guy first. Uh, what did you find out about the fight in the dorm? Uh, Lucas's men robbed Trayvon's men and left town. They were talking about some kind of decoder. I know, you idiot. How long has it been since I gave you this assignment? Your chances of proving usefulness are rapidly disappearing. Uh, what's going on anyway? I didn't expect this from Lucas. His clan has a reputation for being a small but punchy team. If he decides to go against me, he will have to pay dearly for it. Is there anything else I can do for you, Mr. Cogan? Old Lucas made me an unforgivable mistake. He hit my reputation, and more importantly, he ruined my plans. But that's not a main thing right now. I'll deal with it later. It is much more important that I get radio components out of the factory. I need them as soon as possible. Can you do it? Uh, if I kill Lucas? I doubt you even have the guts and the skills. And if they kill you, then our whole conversation will be meaningless. Just get what I asked for. I see. I'll do it. Um, all right. Let's sell. How much is this bar? This welding machine worth? Thirty-five. That's not even that much. All right. Adios. I'm gonna turn it in. It weighs fifteen fucking pounds. Mm. Man, oh man. Oh, it's this guy back here, isn't it? So it reminds me of like the Godsmack music. I'm not the one who's so far away. Uh, about the welding machine. Any leads? Here's your welding machine. It's really him. I thought it was hopeless. So who was the thief? Um, uh, it was Todd from the trailer. Ha! Todd thinks he's the smartest one here. But sooner or later, justice finds anyone anywhere. Now give me my phone. Here are your 35 caps, but not a word to anyone. No problem. 250 experience. Hell yeah. And we got more caps. Dude, we have so many. So many freaking caps now. Dude, we gotta be able to buy something. We should every mission in the thing. I'm gonna buy that jacket. I'm gonna buy that jacket and we're gonna look super sexy going into episode 5. That's what's happening. Oh, 229. Ah. Uh. Why you do this to me? And I think I need those too. 
Alright, alright. I'll give you all my metal sandals. One detergent. Some grubs. A rad scorpion tail. All my batteries. You can have all my batteries. Uh, shit. Tin rocks? 152? Oh, man. Alright, so I'm not quite there yet. 232. Hmm. One stim pack? 297. That does it. trade that stim pack though. Fuck, what if we get rid of this? I just give him one more cap. Uh, a rock? No, he doesn't want rocks. Uh, fine, I'll give you one more cap. Mm. But at least, adios, at least we finally can put on. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at us now. We are freaking beautiful. Well, in that note, I think I'm going to heal up. And I think we're going to end the episode there. I'm probably going to halt some streaming too. So if you're watching on the stream, I'm probably going to take a break and take a walk with my wife. And then I will be back on later. Catch you around.